Feeding and watching birds is one of America's favorite pastimes. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, nearly half of the households in the United States provide food for wild birds. Like picky kids, birds have different food preferences. In a nutshell, the key to successfully attracting birds to your backyard is to add variety. This is Rhonda Furry with the University of Illinois Extension. The most commonly used bird seed are sunflower seeds. Striped sunflower seeds are large with thicker shells. Black oil sunflower seeds are the most popular. They are smaller in size with a thinner shell, making them easier for smaller birds to eat. Sunflowers are easy plants to grow and come in a variety of colors and heights. Harvest them yourself for use later or leave them in the garden for birds to eat right off the plant. Another option is to use safflower seeds, which look similar to sunflower seeds. They have a very tough shell that only the larger birds can crack. Safflower are the seeds of the annual safflower plant that you see here. This herbaceous, thistle-like plant is also grown commercially to produce vegetable oil. Use sunflowers and safflowers in pole or hanging feeders. A covered tray feeder raised off the ground on a pole or fence is the most common feeder you see in people's yards. Tray feeders are going to accommodate the ground feeders such as juncos and sparrows, cardinals and blue jays, and morning doves. They'll also accommodate chickadees, nuthatches, and finches. While this type of feeder will attract the widest variety of birds, the seeds are more accessible to squirrels and large birds such as grackles and starlings. Hanging feeders can help with this problem, especially those that are adapted to shut and close when something heavy gets on it. Hanging feeders sway freely in the wind, which doesn't bother birds such as finches, chickadees, woodpeckers, and nuthatches. However, some birds, such as sparrows, get a little seasick and prefer more stability. Using large hanging feeders to attract cardinals and blue jays, or small feeders are geared more towards finches, chickadees, nuthatches, and the tufted titmice. To attract finches, use a tube hanging feeder filled with black niger seed. Although sometimes also called thistle, it is not a thistle at all, but rather a daisy-like plant known as guizosha. Niger is an annual flower with bright yellow-orange flower heads that turn into seed pods. You can grow your own by starting the seed indoors or planting it directly in the ground after all the danger of frost is gone. Woodpeckers and nuthatches are primarily insect eaters. They prefer foods high in protein and fat such as suet and peanut butter that can be dispersed in clinging feeders, such as the one you see here. Cereal grains are used alone or as filler in birdseed mixes. They include dried whole kernel corn, cracked corn, millet, and milo. Millet or milo are the little round seeds that are often found in birdseed mixes. Millet comes from a penicetum plant, while milo is a type of grain sorghum. Juncos and sparrows go wild for the white proso millet. You can find more information at our University of Illinois Extension website shown here, or you can post questions and see other gardening tips at one of my IL River Hort social media sites serving Fulton, Mason, Peoria, and Tazewell counties.